What is it, Jax? Did you find birdies out there? Get those birdies, Jax. Get them. Get them. <laughs> And good sunny early morning to you from Illinois. Blue skies and sunshine. I did some urban camping here at a Cracker Barrel in Mount Vernon because they don't allow parking over at the Walmart. In fact, for the first time, the Walmart in Mount Vernon has like bars over the parking lot. So no high clearance vehicle can even enter the Walmart over there. Like they're, they're serious. But uh, Cracker Barrel gave me the okay last night and they have these RV bus designated sites right here so it was fine but i am flat out determined to find a campground open somewhere in illinois in december i have not had any luck zero luck so far but i have a lead by the end of the day hopefully we are in a beautiful spot until then we're gonna explore my last day probably full day here in illinois you know uh, in a world where directions are harder and harder for travelers who aren't familiar with the places mount vernon I guess you have a sense of humor because I can't make sense of this. <laughs> I like it though. Welcome to Mount Vernon, the chaotic, nonsensical side of Mount Vernon. Uh-huh. Crossroads of America. Are we confused yet? I'm just slightly confused, but I love it. Quirky, quirky. Okay, wait, at least one more stop here in Mount Vernon at the courthouse. This courthouse is at least 150 years old. I mean, it's likely to have some famous people step foot inside this courthouse, right? Like Mr. Abraham Lincoln, woo. Having flashbacks to the Lincoln Highway, good sir. How are ya? I guess the reason for this nine-foot Abraham Lincoln statue out front is because in 1859, Sir Lincoln here argued a case inside this courthouse right here about the railroad back then, 1859. All right, Lincoln, take care, buddy. All right, now we are going to go south on 57 through Illinois. Some people had thought I might be going through Indiana on my way east, but no. A little warmer in Kentucky, it turns out. So, uh, also, that was Cracker Barrel I was at last night was with walking distance of an AMC movie theater, and I stopped in and uh, I saw a movie last night, and I enjoyed some delicious popcorn that nobody out there would like because it was too delicious. <laughs> Excited about some better movies coming out in December also. But, you know, it is what it is. All right, all right, onward. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> all right, you just stay up there in the corner then. Think about what you did. Okay, I'll think about what I did. I don't know what I did to deserve this amazing, gorgeous sunshine weather here in Illinois. This is fantastic. This rest area is right on the Rend Lake out there. It's pretty. As much as I want to soak in the sunshine and the beautiful views, like I said, at, before it gets dark at like four o'clock today, I do want to pull into a nice campground with my own personal view of that, where I can uh, set out a nice chair. Let's get back on the road. Uh, Sean and Jill got me a couple of these sodas. Bacon soda. <laughs> it looks delicious. It is a twist stop. Oh, no, 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 no. <coughs> I'm not sure if that was a joke or what, but that did not work at all for me. Good effort, though. I love bacon. Don't put it in a soda, guys. Making one more stop here in, in Rend Lake. One of the things a lot of the uh, locals tell me on the road is that they watch some of my videos and they say, man, I've seen that for years. I drive past it on the interstate all the time. Didn't even know there was a back road behind the interstate to see it. <laughs> Cause you know, my lifestyle, I'm not in a rush to really do anything. I can take all the back roads all the time. And uh, we gotta walk down here a little farther so we can see what this is. What that is right there. Uh, we're at a golf course. <laughs> As you can see by this humongous tee 
with a golf ball on top. <laughs> Another unique water tower here in Illinois. Boy, they love to just make them different around here. And you know me, I love it. It even looks like it's got a fresh coat of paint on it glistening there. And boy, that is Paul Bunyan's tee off time right there. <laughs> Makes my RV look tiny down there. I don't know specifically how big it is, but it's gotta be just as big as that big ketchup bottle we saw the other day. I love it, very quirky. Thank you, Illinois, for the quirky water towers. Ooh, wait a minute. As a bonus, they have free RV hookups here? No. I'm kidding anyway. It's not free power. You find those in the park all the time. I don't know, it's for like barbecues and get togethers and stuff. I do like taking these back roads instead of the highway because I do get a chance to stop at some of the things that other people just cannot stop when they're on the highway. But let me check this real quick because I've been wrong before. I just want to get some information before I get out and speak. Hang on just a second. Ah. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. This is Benton, Illinois. And I'm on back roads. There's the uh, highway right there, 57. Again, this is not the first time this has happened in the last couple weeks, but Another tribute to the Beatles here on the side of the highway road. George Harrison from the Beatles with his admiring fans. Last time I saw anything Beatles related, I was really just baffled by why there was so much Beatles stuff and I couldn't figure it out. Well, the only piece of information I got on this is that in 1963, band member George Harrison came to Benton, Illinois to see his sister. That's why this is all here. <laughs> I don't care. I love the Beatles. I love the mural greeting people. So nicely done guys, quirky. Well, I found a good spot to park here in Benton. So I'm gonna go sniff around downtown and see if we can find anything else interesting in this general area while we're here. Check out this neat little town square here. Isn't that cool? I love it. You know what this town square most reminds me of? Metropolis, which we're actually really close to. That's where Superman home, I filmed there. I may link that at the end. Then you got Christmas decorations from the Peanuts. Snoopy, aww. I love it, way to go guys. And look, Edwards Antiques has a nice Christmas display up there with Santa Claus. Ooh, Franklin County Garage 1910's Museum. They are open Monday through Friday. What the heck? Monday through Friday, 10 to 6. If the door is locked, we're out on chamber business. <sighs> oh my gosh. Only some of you will find that funny. Of course. Of course. All right, well, in good spirits, I'm gonna kind of give up because it is that time of year. Everything is just gonna be closed. Even the historic jail museum of Benton, but we can see something outside. Anybody know what this is right here? This is the uh, city of Benton's gallows. See the, the noose hanging there? Yeah, last hanging here in these gallows was in 1928. Charlie Bigger was the last person dropped from these gallows right here. That's a little eerie, right? Yeah. Hey guys, always make sure to inspect the condition of your tires, please. Cause yeah, just saying. Check your dates, check for cracking. All right, unless I find something unique and awesome for lunch, gonna go find this campground now. Welcome to Arrowhead Lake Campground. It looks awesome. It is said to be a free campground on freecampsites.net. Uh, do I, do I check in? Do I, how do I, how do I do this? Here. I'm gonna figure it out and I'll get back to you. Well, you know, there, sometimes there's some bad information out there. It happens to me a lot on the road. It happens to everybody. I don't freak out or get mad or throw little YouTube fits about it. And just deal with it. It's gonna be cold tonight, 25 degrees. So I did pay $20 for a campsite and I think it's well worth it. I even ordered some wood that's gonna be delivered later and this is my cute little campsite. Notice I've got my new outdoor sign. Everybody else has got wood signs with their family names. So yeah, advertising the channel here, but 
What's awesome about this is, look at that, Arrowhead Lake out there. Hey, uh, aren't you geese a little far north this time of year? I think you better keep flying, guys. <laughs> like, what about you? Well, yeah, I'm not staying up north forever, but, you know, what, a, what an awesome day. What a good day, man. I got my camping fix for Illinois before I get out of here. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. I guess I just kind of needed this little camping break. I've been doing a lot of urban camping and lot docking and mooch docking and, and everything. So, you know, I don't mind. I don't mind at all. It's a nice little reset. I did mention my, that I needed water in my last video. So I filled up the tank. I topped off the tank, but then I put the hose back away. Because if it's gonna freeze, especially, you know, 25 degrees, that can cause more problems. It could freeze in the hose, and then I'll have a hassle putting it away in the morning. So, just one night here, just plug it into power. That's all I'm gonna do. I'll, I'll use their dump station on the way out, though, just to keep it empty, you know. Well, we got no traffic noise, no semi-trucks, nothing. Just, just nature. I love it. Man, I love it. <laughs> 